Kurt Davis here with Real Estate Wealth Coaching, and I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, I want to do this video today because I want to show you guys a new project that I'm going to start doing. Now, now my business model typically revolves around flipping turnkey homes, investment property for out-of-state investors, uh, but from time to time, we come across a really solid deal that works for a retail flip. And with the retail market uh, extremely hot right now, uh, houses are not lasting long. So uh, before we actually get into this, though, make sure you click that like button, subscribe to our page, follow us. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of great content we're putting out, uh, a lot of great videos just like this. So if you stay till the end, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the property itself. So uh, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of this property because I want to show you what I plan to do to the home in terms of renovations, what the home needs. You'll see the current condition the house is in. Uh, but a lot of people want to know, how do you find deals like this? Where, where do properties like this come from? Now, this was an off-market property that I found. So here's exactly how this particular property played out. My wife and I were cleaning out our garage at our house, and my wife does uh, children's consignment. We have four kids, they're getting older, we don't need things, so my wife will take their items to the consignment shop. Well, we have some items that we thought that we could just sell, putting on Facebook Marketplace, of all places to sell. So I think I listed a little digital basketball scorekeeper type thing, like a scoreboard deal. And a, and a gentleman contacted me and said, I'll take it. And I can come by tonight. It was a Sunday night. So he showed up about an hour later. And, and as he was walking back to the car and we were talking, he goes, I noticed that you do real estate. You flip houses. And I said, yes. And he goes, I do houses. I'm also a realtor. And I'm flipping a house not that far away from here. And we come to find out we knew a lot of the same people. And, and I just happened to make a comment and I said, well, listen, that's great. If you ever come across any deals that you think might fit my criteria that you don't want, let me know. And he goes, well, oddly enough, I have a house right now that we're actually getting ready to list. And he told me about it and I was very interested. So we came here the very next day. And this is a house where uh, an, an older retired couple uh, was moving in with their family members out of state. They were getting ready to do an estate sale and they were gonna list it, but I was able to negotiate a deal with them on the front end to buy this house before it ever hit the market. So that's a very unique way of finding this property. And I, we're gonna go inside here in a minute. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of what I plan on doing in terms of renovations to this house. But if you stay till the end, I will break down how the numbers are gonna work out or how I hope that they're gonna work out on this property for me. So come on. All right, come on in the front here. All right, so right inside the entry here, you can see we've got some old school uh, parquet flooring. Uh, this is the only spot in the house where this is. Uh, this was real popular back in the day, but it is not anymore. So with this layout of the home, we have a front living or sitting room, as it may be called. And you can see right down there on the other side, that's considered the formal dining area. So this house actually has two living areas, this one and the one on the other side of the wall that we'll see here in just a little bit. But uh, aside from doing a full interior paint of this whole home, we're going to do a lot of new light fixtures and things like that. Uh, we're going to do all brand new laminate hardwood flooring throughout this entry area here continued through this room and we're going to take it into the back living room which you'll see here in just a minute but it's really going to bring it out it's going to be kind of a darker color and it's really going to pop with the revere pewter color that we use when we paint the walls we're going to do the white trim on any crown and any base trim so uh, you know this house and let me tell you about the house real quick uh, I should have said it outside but this house is a four bedroom two and a half bathroom brick home. It has a two car attached garage and it has a huge bonus. It has an in-ground gunite pool. And in terms of the layout of this property, uh, being that it's four bedrooms, the master bedroom and the second bedroom are on the main level, and then two other additional bedrooms are on the upstairs. So uh, one of the big things that we find when people are buying properties retail is, is that ideally they would love to have 
uh, at least the master bedroom on the main level. And some people may like a pool and some people don't, but I will tell you that in uh, this part of the country where we're at, and especially this city in Germantown, uh, everybody wants a pool. So the fact that we have a master bedroom down and a pool almost eliminates any reason why somebody wouldn't want this home. Uh, so, all right, so I said we're gonna do all the new floors. We're gonna paint, light fixtures, everything like that. The formal dining room here, it's not huge, but it is a formal little dining room. Uh, it has access to the kitchen. There's actually, there's actually uh, four access points into the kitchen from the dining room, from the back living room. Uh, there's a door that goes out to the back of the laundry and from the garage, so come this way. All right, so in the kitchen, we're gonna do a lot of work. Uh, these cabinets are in great, great shape, so we're gonna completely strip and repaint them. We're gonna put new hardware on. We're gonna take out these old Formica countertops and we're gonna put in granite. Uh, we're gonna do undermount sink, things like that. Uh, we've got an old school double oven right here, as you can see, this is probably original to the house. The fact that it's still here and probably works uh, is, I guess, a testament to old appliances, but regardless, we're gonna upgrade that to a brand new double oven. We're gonna get a new refrigerator here as well. Um, we got the little eating kitchen area back here, but what I really wanna show you guys uh, is right off the back laundry area over here. Like I said, we've got access to the garages here. Got the laundry room and back, but we're gonna go out and check out the backyard because this is uh, one of the features that a lot of people are gonna enjoy. All right, so obviously we're in the backyard. This is gonna be a nice area where somebody can put tables, a little picnic table, umbrella, or whatnot. But uh, you can see we've got the in-ground gunite pool up here, which is gonna be a huge feature. We're gonna completely clean up the landscaping here. This deck is in some serious need of help, so we're gonna completely rebuild this whole deck. Everything's gonna be brand new. Again, like I said, we're going to do landscaping, we're going to trim up these bushes, clean everything up, but uh, this is going to be a huge area for entertaining, so I wanted to bring you guys and show you what the plan is, but super nice back here. We're going to pressure wash the whole exterior of the home, clean out the gutters, everything like that. All right, so another thing that is a huge thing to do to these properties is that you'll notice this house has the old school popcorn ceiling. Something that they, something very common in older homes. We're going to completely scrape off all this old popcorn in the whole home because it's everywhere in all ceilings in the closets. Uh, so we're going to do smooth ceilings. Now we're in the back living room area here and as you can see it's a little dark back here. Like I said we're going to extend that uh, hardwood floor back here. The paneling itself is really, really nice, but we're gonna paint it. We're still gonna do the white trim on the top and bottom. We're gonna paint the paneling. Uh, we're gonna paint the mantle white, but we're gonna leave it the natural brick just because it looks really good. But like I said, this is uh, living room number two of this property. You got the gas fireplace, uh, nice little feature. Great room for entertaining. So the master bedroom is right here. And we've got bedroom number two, which these are all great size bedrooms. Uh, but this house does have the half bathroom and the master bathroom, obviously on the main level, but they kind of coincide with each other because they kind of have like a Jack and Jill effect. So right in here, up until where I'm at right here, this is considered the half bathroom. Obviously there's a door here, but it also extends into the master bathroom area with the tub and shower and everything like that. But what I'm gonna do is we're gonna rip out all this old flooring. We're gonna do brand new 12 by 24 tiles. We're gonna paint the vanity bases in both. We're gonna do granite countertops, new mirrors, lights. Uh, obviously we're gonna rip off all this old wallpaper and paint and everything in here. But if you come here, you know, you've got this house, this, this tile here on the shower, it's older, it's older tile. It's in really good condition, but it's not something that we can keep uh, for what we're planning on doing. So we're gonna do all new tile surround here. We're gonna bring it up to the ceiling. We're gonna do a nice decorative strip. We're gonna do a shower box, all new shower head, everything like that. Coming into the master bedroom portion of the project now. Um, 
One negative, I guess you could say, it does just to have one sink. It's not dual vanities, but it, you know, this is kind of a common type built home for the time period. So uh, we're just going to leave it with the one sink. But as like you can see, it Jack and Jill's with each other. But with this renovation that we're going to do, the bathroom is going to be awesome. And then swing around right in here into the master bedroom. This is a huge room. I don't know the exact measurement, but this is the largest room. Uh, it's a little bit larger than the second bedroom. And on the upper level of this property, there's another two bedrooms with a full hallway bath. And our plan is to renovate that bathroom the same style on what we're going to do for these ones. So again, like I said, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom brick, two car garage with an in-ground gunite pool. It has all the features that anybody could be asking for. Um, what I actually want to do is right now is we're going to go outside and we'll stand on the porch because I want to tell you guys how the numbers work on this property so you can determine for yourself if you think this is a deal or not. Let's go. All right, guys. So we've done the walkthrough tour of the property. I've showed you a lot of what we're planning on doing. And now let's talk about the numbers. So like I said, I found this home through a very unique probably one of a kind, one time only, of selling something on Facebook Marketplace. To sum all that up, what I'm really trying to say is, is that social media is a huge platform to network with investors. So that's great that you're taking pictures of your dinner and your shoes and your car and your watch or whatever you're trying to do, but ultimately, people are gonna network with you are you posting pictures of your house? Are you, you know, what are you posting? People are going to look at that. I showed this house last night already to some prospective buyers and they saw the vision and they, they actually told me that the reason why they even consider buying this house is because they looked on my Facebook profile and they saw other homes that I am currently working on or have completed and they felt comfortable enough to do this. So anyway, here's how the numbers work out on this particular property. I purchased this home for $232,000. My private lender was only willing to make me a loan of 225,000. So with the shortfall of about seven grand and additional fees and closing costs and whatnot, I had to bring about 15 grand to the table of my own money to close on this particular property. Now I'm gonna spend about $45,000 or so in renovations on this property. I'd, I'd, ideally, I'd like to be all in on this renovation, 275, no more than 280,000 but I'm going to list this home for $340,000. Factoring in having to pay a 3% commission to a buyer's agent and some potential closing cost assistance. If everything works out according to plan, it'd be fantastic to roll out of here with about $40,000 to $45,000 net profit. So is that a good deal or not? Uh, I guess I think it's a good deal, but it may not be a good enough deal for you. Um, this is more of an a slightly more of an advanced type of purchase uh, because it's not 100. I did not get 100% private financing like I do on a lot of my smaller turnkey flips. So this is what my private lender felt comfortable with, and I had to make a decision: Am I able to even cover these additional costs out of my pocket? Which thankfully I am. So if I did not have these fees, I either would have had to have found another private lender who would have allotted for more of a private loan or it may have had to bring in a partner to do the deal or worst case scenario I couldn't do the deal and lose out on this opportunity so there's a lot of things to think about so that's why it's fantastic to have relationships uh, that you do and if you have your own funds fantastic um, Speaking of private financing, if anybody is looking for private financing out there, we do have a private lending option uh, that you can apply for through Real Estate Wealth Coaching. So if you go to realestatewealthcoaching.com, you'll see one of our drop-down tabs that you can pick. There's a private lending tab that you can click on there and fill out the simple basic information if you're looking for private financing. Fill the form out and we'll see what we can do for you. But uh, to, to wrap this up, if you guys liked this video, make sure you click the like button drop a message down below and let me know what you thought about this property, the numbers, anything that you want to contribute. And make sure that you guys stay tuned because we're going to do a follow-up video when this project is about halfway through the renovation and then we're going to bring you back when it's complete, completely done so that you can, you can see the final product and see how awesome this place is going to turn out. So thanks for tuning in guys and we'll see you in part two.